And so it's a similar idea of trying to break down some of those boxes um, and help help our young boys understand that. To to your point, um, being aggressive on the field is, is different than than Friday night, you know, at, at the at the the party or whatever. And so um, it's it's hard work. It's not easy work. It's it's much easier as a coach that we're just go go go. We're tough tough tough. See you later. See you tomorrow. That's much easier. Um, taking that half hour or forty minutes um, to sit the fellas down and you know have a have a have a really challenging conversation it is, is harder work so, um I think that makes me think of the coaching boys into men where you know they're talking about aggression has its place on the field but not in relationships and um to start we I mean I feel like we have to start teaching that at a really young age because the competition and the aggression is taught early but the healthy masculinity sort of gets put by the wayside, or maybe the connection is just not made for kids. And then as they get older and they see um, people who are in the spotlight, in professional sports, in, um, in the community, uh, maybe as celebrities and that sort of thing, and they see them behaving in a certain way toward women, um, and it's hailed and it's um, glorified. Um, and so it makes it really hard without education. It makes it, I think, next to impossible. Because I think there's a fine line between to toxic masculinity and masculinity. I don't think that there's a problem being masculine. I don't think there's a problem being a man. Like, the, I think the problem lies in the toxic part. <laughs> I think it, to address the core root of it, it is addressing the trauma because I think that we put up barriers to protect ourselves and, and hurt people hurt people. And if we don't heal the hurt people, the, it's just gonna be the same. So like we, we, have, we have this toolbox, um, but if we're fixing the effects of the problem instead of the problem itself, I don't think we'll get anywhere. So I think it's addressing the trauma in general and making people feel healthy in themselves to where they can chip away at that ego, chip away at that ego and realize like, hey, we're all, we're all people, you know, we're all people, whatever makes you happy, makes you happy. But if, if what makes me happy starts impacting somebody else's happiness, then I really need to reevaluate. So that, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, um, if, if you're asking me about how to reach people, it's, it's making, making sure that it's still okay to be masculine.